Well, hello there, my plant friends. This is Linda with Linda Sue Plants for you. I am filming my new garden. Um, I've had a garden, outdoor garden, vegetable garden for most of my life, but for about the last six or seven years, I have not been able to have a garden. But my husband um, is fixing this up and he is going to tend the garden so we will be able to have a garden after all. Um, we put these square foot gardens in a long time ago and we had metal bars with the it's called hardware cloth. Um, but he took those out and he put the wood framing and he's going to get more hardwood cloths to go around it and then he's going to make a little gate on each side of those. So yay, I'm going to have fresh veggies this summer. I'm really excited about that, my friends. Um, <clears throat> we used to have a huge garden on the south side of our house, but the way our property is, the, the soil that we have, it was just awful. It, it was really, really hard to keep. And it, it, the vegetables wouldn't grow, but the weeds did. And over the years, we've discovered that the soil on the south side of our almost an acre lot here, um, we believe it was contaminated. We think it came from a foundry um, because of things that we have found in it over the years and nothing will grow in there, nothing. I mean, we spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars planting trees and different bushes and things and they all die. So this is in our backyard where we have good soil and some clay. And um, so we're gonna try it. So I wanted to just give you a quick update on that. And then we're going to go back into my plant room slash dining room slash work room. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, and I am back. Um, <clears throat> hopefully I won't have any issues with my camera today. For those of you that have been following me, if you um, notice, and I think it was my last two videos, I, <clears throat> something is missing kind of in between. And it's because it's during the time that I was editing, I noticed um, a big chunk was missing so I tried to fix it but probably not the best fixer in the world when it comes to that I don't know something strange is happening with my camera it's never ever just shut off on me before um, but it, it's doing that so and the camera is only about a year old so I'm not sure what is happening and I'm not sure how to avoid that um, I'm going to try and keep an eye on that Blink, blinking light and Hopefully that'll let me know if it's going off. But anyways, so yesterday my hubby went and got this for me. It's a humidifier, a small tabletop. And um, I haven't had to use a humidifier ever for my plants. <clears throat> but recently I've noticed... Um, my begonias are, when I moved them from the dining room into the living room, they started to have issues. And when I was boiling the water for a couple of days, it seemed to help. So I'm not sure if it's a humidity issue or not. Um, my calatheas or calatheas do great, and those are supposedly high humidity plants, so I don't know. But... <clears throat> um, at any rate, I'm going to try it. I just wanted a small one. And it, it, I wanted one that would turn off when the water ran out or that you could set the timer on. So this is one of those. And it's, um, he got it at Walmart. <clears throat> and I believe it was $49.95. So it wasn't a real expensive, but not not very inexpensive either for uh, 
just one small humidifier, but we'll see how it works. <clears throat> Probably not going to need this as much at all during the summer months because we have very high humidity in our area, but uh, we'll see. See what happens. Well, I should have probably opened this off camera there. Shouldn't have to wait. Yeah, there we go. Alright. I know that there are many, many humidifiers out there. I couldn't believe how many there were to choose from. So, but this is the one I ended up with. Packaged pretty well. Take it away. Oh, that's good. It's a little bigger than I wanted, but it's okay. It'll it'll work. And I'm going to have to find another cord, another extension <coughs> for this to plug into. Oh, I thought it was green. Well, that's okay. Oil tray. Oh, that's right. He did say it has a, uh, a diffuser on there if you want to put... A scent in the room. I don't. I don't want to do that. <clears throat> um, I just want it strictly for the a little bit of moisture in one area of my living room. So, all right. This says stop. Need help? Call us. We're here to help. Okay. Uh, I think these are the little pads that you put the essential oils on. I'll read through all that later. And once I have it up and running and see how it worked out for me, I will let you know in a future video. Okay, I'm not sure what these are. There's <clears throat> some pieces in here that are... Oh, it's a demineral demineralization cartridge. You will need this prior to normal use of the humidifier. Refer to instruction manual. I hate instruction manuals. And my husband's not real fond of them either. <laughs> but it looks like it's something I'm going to have to read through. This is what they're referring to. I don't know what that is, but maybe someone out there does. So I'm going to have to read through my instructions and um, to get it up and running. Hmm. This is interesting. The very first paragraph says all about white dust. The use of mineral content hard water may cause a white mineral residue to accumulate on surfaces in the room near the humidifier. The mineral residue is commonly called white dust. The higher the mineral content, content or the harder you water is the greater the potential is for white dust. So white dust is not caused by a defect in the humidifier. It is only caused by the minerals suspended in the water. How and why to use demineralization cartridges. So that's what that's for. And I'm probably going to have to use it because we have well water. And I'm quite sure it's got a lot of minerals in it in addition to the salt from the water softener. So I probably will have to use it. So I'm going to go through the directions and get this set up. And we'll see how it works. And and I'll come back another day and explain to you or let you know how it 
how it worked for me. So wish me luck. If there's anybody out there who has one like this, um, and you can make my life easier by just making a comment in the comment section, that would be great. Otherwise, we're just going to uh, have to figure it out on my own. So that's going to be it for me today. Um, this, this one does... Um, uh, shut off. It's got an auto auto off timer, and um, it's specifically made for small areas or small rooms. And although I do, it is quite a big room. Um, I'm not trying to get that humidity throughout the whole room. It's just one corner that I I think I might need to up it a little bit. So hopefully it'll work. And I do have other things planned as always. I always let you guys know. I have a whole list of things that I need to get done, and I'm working on those. Um, I'll be bringing more videos, hopefully, uh, before the end of the weekend. I'm not quite sure because hubby is putting in a new water heater, so um, I might not, I might not be able to uh, to video, you know, to record while he's doing that. But we'll see what happens, and. The other thing I wanted to ask you all is, or, or maybe not ask, but uh, caution you about using raw horse manure on your outdoor gardens. You know, horse manure is very strong. It's a lot stronger than cow manure. And it needs to sit for at least a year. And <clears throat> maybe longer, I don't know, but... My husband was trying to help last year, and he he went and got a whole pickup load of that, and he put it all over our plants, all over our yard, and um, a, a good portion of them died, and I'm really sad about that. So I just want to kind of put that out there for those of you that might be thinking about doing that. Make sure that it's seasoned manure. Um, because it's just too strong. It's too strong for the roots. So I lost a lot of my peony bushes. And a lot of you saw those last year. They were beautiful. I had them around my whole tree. They've been there for years and years. And uh, I've only got a little small patch that did make it through. Where he probably didn't put as much down. Um, and I also have a big huge. Uh, not big huge. But a big bush in my yard that I was looking forward to it growing up. But I don't think it's going to make it either. So be careful what you put on your plants, and uh, especially if it's manure, any kind of compost for that matter. I have heard people say it doesn't matter how much you put on. It does matter. Compost can, can kill your plants. I mean, it's good for your plants. It's, it's excellent to use, but you have to do it within reason. Um, it, it's not the case of more is better when it comes to compost. So just be careful with that. All right, and I think that's going to do it for today. It's short but sweet, and I hope I brought you some good information. And um, I will be back. We are planting outdoor gardens and doing lots of stuff, so I want to just share that with all my friends. And um, I want to encourage other people to do more videos, too. I've noticed in the last couple months that those that a lot of people have, uh, uh, I don't want to say backed off, but I, for lack of a better word, uh, there's only a few people that are consistently doing videos, and I really miss you guys. I, I love watching the videos, and I'm not seeing many. So I hope that if you're watching this and you have the ability to do that, that you'll put some out there for, for us to enjoy too. And I hope you're all safe. I hope you're all healthy. Summer's almost here. It's going to be a good summer for everyone. Alrighty. Will you take care? And I will be back soon. Bye now.